I uh, said in my last Z, uh, Z show, my last uh, NixOS video that it would be the last one, but uh, I figured for posterity and also to document for myself what need be done to get Z Shell the way I like it on NixOS, uh, I'm going to make an extra video. And so the, <clears throat> the issue is that when you, oh, by the way, in the process of doing this, I, I flailed hard. So I, I actually switched over back to a, to a standalone configuration of home manager, which is irrelevant, I found, but uh, that's where I am right now. So you don't, you don't have to do that, but uh, what I did find is that um, when you do program ZSH, um, this is this has got to go. That's that's useless. When you do program ZSH, and you use any Z ZSH plugin manager. I think. Well, I should say at least Z plug. I didn't get oh my Z shell to work. I can't believe these these names are coming out of my mouth. Um, but anyway. These are these are plugin managers for Z Shell, and Home Manager purports to let you configure those and add certain plugins to your to your uh, Z Shell configuration declaratively. And um, this I cargo culted from a from some page somewhere. You know, because I don't know anything about Zplug. I don't know anything about it. I don't really want to know anything about it. I just want this software installed. So, um, what this does is it is it causes this power level 10K thing, which is the fancy blue, blue pointy things in like this, that thing, to show up in your shell. And it does some other various nice niceties, but um, in order to to home manager install this thing, this is this is sort of a way or at least a way you can do it. <clears throat> and the problem is that once you do that, what happens is here's what happens. I'll show you. Uh, the first time you run your shell after that, what will happen is you will see P10K figure. You'll see something like this pop up. And you go through this whole thing. Oh no. Uh, three, one, 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 one. Uh, 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 uh. Verbose. Oh, hmm. Sure. Yes, you'll see this. You'll see that you can't apply the changes that you want to apply to config ZSH, ZSHRC. And you might say to yourself, what the F? I don't get it. How's that possible? How can that be possibly possible that I'm not the owner of that file? Well, I'll show you. Uh, CD to config next packages. No, config ZSH. Say L. Okay, so we have some. We have some symlinks here, and the file it wants to change is this one. Now, it's a symlink. The symlink is owned by ChrisM users, but uh, the real path, or the, the you know the non-symlink version, is that. And what 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 do we see when we see that? It's owned by root. I'm never going to be able to write to it. And it's read only. And 
Um, so, on, on one hand, I sort of get it. You know, you don't want anybody else messing with this declarative configuration. On the other hand, um, yeah, it's kind of just, just a pain. It's just a pain. So what you have to do is you have to actually get that far through that configuration. Now you'll have a, um, you saw when I did the configure, when I did the P P10K configure before that I got, it, it, it asked me if I wanted to overwrite this file called, um, P10K, where is it now? P10, P, no, okay. What did it do with it? All right. Yours may end up somewhere else. I've been messing around with this thing. Uh, yeah, right, so, anyway, anyway, oh my god, it's so complicated, and so stupid, and so dumb, and it's taken me, wow, it's taken me forever to just get this dumbass blue thing to show up all the time, repeatedly, uh, <clears throat> That is my old P. Let me see if there's any difference between that and the one that I put here. Config, next packages, P10K, P10K shell. No. No. Oh, wait. Maybe. Really? Do, 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 do. Pearl Brew. I'm certain I don't care about that. Okay, yeah, I don't really care about that. So, um, so what you actually have to do in order for for you have to actually make the changes to the Z Shell RC yourself, which means that you have to uh, edit the. Um, the home manager configuration again forget that it's if you have it in a different place if yours is, is if yours is you in your nix os configuration.nix that's fine it's the same thing um and inside of programs.zsh inside of there you have to do something like this you have to say you know source my my p10k.zsh that got created as a result of that last command that should that should do it inside of this in an extra thing and yeah good times man good times just just letting everybody know <laughs>